John Shagnon, PCSoutdoors.com. Uh, I'm on the Manhattan Creek uh, tributary of the Sabo River. Gonna make a pocket set for coon, mink, and muskrat. Tomorrow's gonna be January 1st. I'd rather be catching mink, but basically it's warmed up to about above freezing, so I could have to contend with a raccoon, so I'm really making sure I got a little more staking power than I normally would just for a raccoon. Me. But basically, the basic uh, drowner set is simply a uh, hole driven in deeper water, as you can see, and uh, a wire to the shore. There's a swivel on the end of the trap chain that only allows the animal to go out to the deeper water, which we hope to find them mainly dispatched in the morning. Uh, location and sign is just about everything in trapping. Doesn't matter if you can make the best set in the world and there's no animals around. But basically we see plenty of mink and coon tracks um, through here. Plus during the off season while fishing we see mink playing around all day long. <coughs> I always cut my wire a little uh, longer than necessary because uh, the current does fluctuate up and down. And I drive another stake close to where I'm making the uh, pocket set. The pocket is nothing but a hole driven into the, the bank and the uh, trap placed in front. Now we're using hardwood poles that we cut with a little saw up on the banks. Then bore you by uh, video on that. I'm sure you could cut poles. And then I take my trowel and dig a hole up in the bank. Or just just like land trapping um, most mink and muskrats and coon will investigate any uh, hole up in the bank I use the uh, dirt that comes out because I'm going to place the trap right at the entrance just in case he doesn't uh, want to go up in the hole and still catch him when he simply just walks by the uh, walks by on the stream. I'm going to put a little bit of Lennon's Nature Call Mink Lure up inside just to keep them around a little longer and maybe want to make them go back and forth in front of where I got the trap. on so I'm legal. I keep saying I'm going to put my gloves on here today but for some reason I always like to work without gloves. Better movement of the hands. And to make the set look a little natural, or I'll just uh, flush a little bit of water. Make sure my bed there is got about an inch and a half to two inches of water over the trap. Trap's nice and blackened from speed dip. And we'll 
we're gonna use some Lennon muskrat lure. Catch a lot of uh, raccoons and muskrat with this stuff. It's got a good, uh, it's perfect for water trapping because uh, it's got a thick consistency like Vaseline. It smells of muskrat musk. our finished pocket set. Uh, you can see the trap there and uh, I have to get down on an angle but uh, there's a hole that goes up in the bank there and the traps put in front and some lure uh, placed in the back about two inches of water over the trap and we just kind of expect a raccoon mink or muskrat there tomorrow. There's the pole at shore the wire goes out to the stake of the deeper water. And that's where we'll find our minker muskrat. And this is our summertime walleye hole. And probably going to make another set up by that log.